if you are chasing another bad story for Rutgers Athletics, what is the story? I'll tell you what, Ronica, you better watch what you're shooting a video of today in Piscataway. He's got a camera over here. Can't do that. He's talking to me about it. It doesn't huh? matter, though. You cannot do that. Do what? Put the camera over the fence, dude. You all are real good at enforcing the rules about but cameras and matter. shooting you in practice. Wait, wait, wait. Where were you when five guys were getting arrested yesterday? That's what I don't hey, understand. Arby, can you hold him right there, please? Hey, look, they better practice hard, Ronica. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights will be missing three starters, uh, five players in all, when they kick their new season off tomorrow at noon. Uh, they're not on injured reserve, though. They're in jail. Let me ask you something. If you guys are so good at enforcing the rules, how come so five football players got arrested the other day? <laughs> oh, boy, watch out. Somebody's going to videotape the field. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ronica, the, the players were five of nine booked Thursday by the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office. Uh, Rajan Gross, Ruhan Peel, Delon Stevenson, Nadir Barnwell, and Andre Boggs were all hit uh, with a variety of charges, including assault and rioting. Uh, prosecutors say it's all connected to a series of home invasions here in New Brunswick uh, where money and marijuana were allegedly taken. One kid's jaw uh, was even broken. Students had their reaction. I think that there's there might be a whole story behind what we don't know yet. Yeah. And um, we can't really rush to judgment because we don't know like, what happened, what the story was. We weren't there. So. They're not convicted yet, but they were charged, so you never know what happened, but it's definitely not a good thing. Now, a statement, uh, Ronica, from Athletic Director Julie Herman said that the players had been suspended. She'd be monitoring the situation, uh, but they haven't said much else. Uh, but, man, listen, don't try to shoot football practice. They're real big on some rules here, apparently, maybe not so big on others. Uh, and now there are players facing some very serious charges. Ronica? Isn't the coach already in trouble for what he tried to make happen for one of the students involved in this? There is a case of one of the five students who was arrested um, apparently was not doing uh, as well as possibly he could have been academically. Uh, the coach uh, apparently violated some rules by calling the professor directly uh, to try to intervene on his player's behalf. Uh, but what's a coach to do? Uh, obey the rules? Absolutely stand up for his players, uh, I guess do that too. Um, where was he uh, when some of these uh, home invasions were allegedly committed? I don't have any idea, but the coach is not a parent. Right, and, and first of all, it, what the players do when they're not at practice is certainly under the purview of the coach, but how is he supposed to know that three of his starters and five, two other players are going to commit home invasions. That's crazy. Temple University, their football team, their coach right now is touted as one of the best they've ever had in terms of being involved in the community, really bringing the group together as a family. But just last March, we had two Temple football players arrested for aggravated assault. I mean, it's happening everywhere. I'm not sure how much we can put on the coach here when they, as we keep saying, are adults.